Hey guys, we're gonna jailbreak an iPhone 4 using Geek Snow. Just a quick note, we are going to be jailbreaking iPhone 4, not iPhone 4S. I'll just quickly show you guys that I am on iOS 7.1.1, and you can also do this jailbreak if you're on iOS 7.1. So before we start the jailbreak process, I would recommend backing up your iPhone first. This is so in case anything goes wrong during the jailbreak process, you can always go back and restore your iPhone and then restore the backup so nothing gets lost. Plug in your iPhone to iTunes. In my case, my iPhone will already back up and sync once it's connected, so I'll just let it do that. If you don't have iTunes, you can also back up your iPhone to iCloud. Okay, now let's get to the jailbreak. I'll be starting from the beginning, step by step. I do already have Geek Snow on my computer, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will go ahead and download it again, so you guys can see it here on the video and know what to do. You will be able to jailbreak your iPhone 4 on a Mac also, but for this tutorial, I am using a Windows computer, so I am going to download the Windows version of Geek Snow. Just a quick reminder, while Geek Snow is downloading, please leave your iPhone plugged in throughout this whole jailbreak process to avoid any problems happening. Um, we don't want any issues during the jailbreak process of your iPhone, but, you know, in case anything does happen, you do have a backup, so we can always fix this. Um, but it's always good to, you know, not have any issues from the start. Also, everything you need will be in the description, including the link to Geek Snow's website so you can download it. I will also be adding some other useful things in the description, such as skips, so in case your download has already completed by now, you can go ahead, go into the description, and skip through the video. Alright, now we have a zip file containing Geek Snow on our desktop. Right click the zip file, extract all, and the extracted files will show on your desktop in a new folder. Now let's go ahead and open Geek Snow, I right click the Geek Snow executable file and run as administrator and that will bring up the Geek Snow window. So during the filming of this video guys, um, I actually went ahead and detected the model of my iPhone. Um, at the time I didn't realize, oh, this is not a required step of jailbreaking your iPhone. So you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry guys um, for doing this. But in case you don't know your model and you just want to check really quick, um, you can go ahead and check um, do what I'm doing. Um, because I am a little bit behind in talking about the uh, jailbreak process, I am just going to put the um, instructions for going into DFU mode in the description. Um, I won't explain it right now, um, just to save some time. Um, you know, there are, okay, so there are three models, GSM, Rev A, and CDMA. Um, you're going to need to know your model because this is a semi-untethered jailbreak. So meaning it is not fully untethered, you are going to have to plug in your iPhone and reboot uh, your iPhone using Geek Snow if you ever turn off, turn back on, or restart your iPhone. Continuing on, um, since iTunes popped up, I might as well just say this um, right here. If iTunes pops up during the jailbreak process, you will need to close iTunes as fast as you can. You do not want iTunes interrupting the jailbreak process. So what I would do is I'd bring up Task Manager if you're on Windows. So whenever iTunes would pop up, I can just end the process right there. And, you know, just make it quick and simple. Alright guys, now we're actually going to get to the jailbreak process. Go ahead and click that jailbreak button. If you went ahead and detected your model like what I did there, that little incident, um, you don't have to put your iPhone in DFU mode again because you already put your iPhone in DFU mode. So from there, all you have to do would be to just click jailbreak. Um, if you did not check your model like what I did, um, when you click jailbreak, you are going to have to put your iPhone in DFU mode now. And in case you don't know how to put your iPhone in DFU mode, the instructions will be in the description once again. So during the jailbreak process of jailbreaking your iPhone 4, you are going to notice a bunch of Java windows and command prompt windows popping up. And if you're jailbreaking your iPhone 4 on a Mac, you'll notice a bunch of terminals popping up on there as well. This is totally normal, it's okay. Geek Snow is just doing a bunch of cool stuff in order to jailbreak your iPhone, so just leave it be and it'll, you'll be totally alright. 
Um, I will leave this video running unedited and playing in real time so you can see the jailbreak process and really how long it should take. And um, you can watch your jailbreak and this video side by side so you can see what's going on. So I'll pretty much stop talking now. You can listen to the wonderful background music. I will talk um, later on in the video. I will talk for a few seconds about um, what Geek Snow is doing. When do you have to put your iPhone in DFU mode again? So just look out for that. Um, and if you don't need the video, that's all right too. Geek Snow will tell you everything you need to do. So you're all good. Alright guys, so right here, your iPhone's gonna display the recovery mode screen. Um, right here, you're going to have to put your iPhone back into DFU mode in order for the jailbreak process to continue. So go ahead, when GeekSnow says please put your iPhone in DFU mode to continue or something like that, uh, go ahead and put your iPhone in DFU mode. Um, once again, the instructions for putting your iPhone into DFU mode are in the description. Um, and just go ahead and do that, and then GeekSnow will continue the process of jailbreaking your iPhone. So right here, your iPhone is going to boot up, and you will see the lock screen. However, Geek Snow does say, waiting for the device to be ready, this will take a lot. Do not touch your iPhone. Don't unlock it. Geek Snow is finalizing the jailbreak process. However, this does not mean the jailbreak is done yet. You will not see Cydia if you do unlock your device. And in case you accidentally unlock your device right now, that's totally okay. Just stop touching it. <laughs> um... Just give it about one or two more minutes, patiently waiting. Um, Geek Snow is going to finalize the jailbreak, and then your iPhone is going to restart one last time. Um, I'm unsure if you have to put your iPhone in DFU mode one more time, but when the time comes, uh, when your iPhone restarts, we will see about that. So, um, let's give it a minute or two, and let's see what happens.
Alright guys, our iPhone 4 has restarted. Windows is detecting um, our iPhone. Geeksnow is just going to quickly set an auto boot variable and then it's going to tell us to put our device back into DFU mode. And when it says that, alright, now we're going to put our device in DFU mode. Once again, uh, visual instructions on putting your device into DFU mode is in the description. And I, I kind of messed up right here, guys. <laughs> so, um, sorry about that. In case you mess up putting your device into DFU mode, it's alright. Just um, redo the steps into putting your device into DFU mode, and then um, you're all good. Once your iPhone boots up um, and Geek Snow finishes the jailbreak process, you you will be able to use your iPhone finally. You will be able to open up Cydia. We will prepare the file system, and you can start using your new jailbroken iPhone 4. So let's conclude this video, um, finish up the jailbreak process. I'll be right back in a minute. All right, guys, now that our iPhone is booted up, we can finally unlock our device. Uh, let me just cover up, uh, I'll put in my passcode. All right. Now when we go over one page, you'll see Cydia on your new jailbroken iPhone 4. Open it up, and Cydia will prepare the file system very quickly. Um, let's give it a minute.
Alright guys, open Cydia and you can start installing tweaks and apps on your new jailbroken iPhone 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more. Um, this is a new channel, so I will be rolling out videos to get it started. Um, like this video, leave a comment. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me a question in the comments below. I will get to you as soon as I can. I have experienced um, some problems with Geek Snow in the past, but I know how to fix them. And if you um, encounter any problem with some sort during your jailbreak, I can definitely help you. Um, and I will help you as much as I can until you are... Um, you are happy. Huh. Um, please do check out my previous video. It, it's a uh, video on Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, hopefully that'll interest some of you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great day.